corn syrup and brown sugar do magical things in this simple Kentucky pecan pie that bakes up gooey and delicious, promises All Recipes member Laurie. The pie is easy to make. It's just a matter of stirring, pouring, sprinkling, and baking. To start, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Then, lightly beat together three eggs and set them aside. Measure one cup of white corn syrup into another medium bowl. Add one cup of packed brown sugar, a third of a teaspoon of salt, and a third of a cup of melted butter. Mix these ingredients together. Now, pour in the slightly beaten eggs and beat the pie filling well. Several All Recipes members note that they like to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract to the filling. So if you'd like to try that, go ahead and add the vanilla now. Pour the filling into an unbaked nine inch pie crust. and sprinkle with one cup of chopped pecans. All Recipes member Soup Lava, who calls this pie rich, decadent, and delicious, says that she always adds an extra half cup of chopped pecans to her pie. Go ahead and add another half cup here if you like. Due to the long baking time, it's a good idea to cover the edges of the pie crust with aluminum foil or a pie shield for part of the baking time. This will keep the crust from overbrowning. Soup Lava covers the edges for the first 40 minutes, then removes it for the remaining 20 minutes. Place the pie on a baking sheet for easier handling and to catch any drips, and bake the pie in the preheated oven for 50 to 60 minutes. Once baked, allow the pie to cool before slicing so the filling has a chance to set. Attention chocolate lovers, All Recipes member Ken Rian creates a chocolate Kentucky pecan pie with just one simple step. She sprinkles the bottom of the unbaked pie crust with semi-sweet chocolate chips before pouring in the filling. How's that for a sweet twist?